Saturday, December 18th, 10 a.m. Central Time. This is 11 a.m. Eastern. Boca Raton Bowl. It's the roofclaim.com Boca Raton Bowl. The gift bag for this one, Western Kentucky and App State, is a gift suite. <laughs> it's, you always love seeing that. It's like, who knows? Who knows what could possibly be in this grab bag? Uh, App State is favored by three points here. Uh, Western Kentucky has not faced a defense anywhere remotely close to what App State is. The thing that scares me here, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take App State, but the thing that scares me is the turnover bug for App State. Now, if you go back and look, uh, Kyle, that's on the BetUS show with me, went through and actually went game by game, and the games where uh, App State played against Louisiana, they had a ton of turnovers, and then in all the other games combined, they were like plus three on the season. So yeah. maybe it was only yeah. a Louisiana thing. Well, it's good defenses against bad defenses, and yeah. that's, that's what and, Go ahead. and Western, Ke- Western Kentucky does not have a good defense. I'll certainly say that. App no. State is fantastic against the pass. They are going to be able to get after Bailey Zapp. Uh, I do think Bailey Zapp is going to get his. When they just decide to sling it, they're really good. But I'm only having to give up three here. I think App State can slow the game down. I, I think they're going to cover the three. Yeah, so I, I love App State in this game. The, the best part of this game is you're going to really have, when App State's on defense and, and- and, and get the, uh, uh, West Kentucky's on offense, you're going to have best on best, okay? you got a team that does not let you throw on them. They do not let you score touchdowns in the air against a team that does nothing but throw on people and score touchdowns in the air. So you really do have best on best, and I like that, and I'm excited for that. I think the boys from App State are better than Western Kentucky. I think they're bigger, they're stronger, they're more mature. I might be wrong on that, but that's just that, that's just a perception that I have. I also, when you're on the other side, that App State offense is going to be so much bigger and stronger and better than Western Kentucky's defense. Western Kentucky's defense is going to have a hard time ever getting any stops at all. And yeah. so I just think if App State wanted to try to score with them tit for tat, I think they would have no problems doing that. If App State wanted to slow this game down and just bring it into the mud, and play it, you know, you know, a 40-minute, 40, 40 45-minute time of possession kind of game and, and just hold the football forever and score. I think they can do that. I yeah. think they can win multiple ways, and I see only one possible way uh, West Kentucky can win, and that's if they somehow just do what nobody else has done, which is make App State's defense look bad. True. Very, very true. But their passing um, defense, it's the best passing defense in America. They're probably the best passing defense in all the G5, except for maybe Cincinnati this year. And I bet they might be even better than Cincinnati. So that, that, this is a, a talent of best on best. I'm excited about that. Yes, yes, you are 100% right. Uh, notes on this one, by the way. Uh, Corey Sutton, star wide receiver for App State, is out. Uh, he did have surgery at the end of the season, so he won't be playing in this. But I, I don't think it'll matter. At App State should be able to run. Well, I think they're going to run the ball. Yeah. They, they most certainly should. And then uh, Bailey's, uh, there's a bunch of guys that are in the transfer portal from Western Kentucky. The uh, the offensive coordinator, Zach Kitley, is going to Texas Tech, but he is sticking around for this game to help Bailey Zapp. He's got 250 yards away from the all-time NCAA passing yards mark in a season and, what, three touchdowns, four touchdowns away from breaking Joe Burrow's single-season touchdown record. So, like, uh, a lot that could be – up for grabs here if uh, if they get everything rolling. Uh, but App State, I think, is going to do their best to not let it happen to them. So both of us riding App State on that one. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.